Oi kids, Slacker Kite, welcome back to the What Are We Fighting For? And we have our returning champions today. Y you? Yes. Yes. You? <laughs> Professional! Hi, I'm Joe. Not it's been a while. No, it's not. Hey, we, couldn't, we couldn't get this right when we were doing this consistently. I mean... This is true. Uh, and I'm Josh. <laughs> Uh, and I'm TV Dinner, and uh, happy holidays to all our listeners. And uh, please notice that I fucking said happy holidays, because I don't give a shit what holiday you celebrate. <laughs> I just, I, I hope you celebrate a holiday, because I work, I, I, I don't work in, I, I'm thankful I don't work in, like, retail retail. I work in web support. I basically tell people how a fucking website works all day long. And, um... Hey, because that's a real working job. <laughs> Oh yeah, it, it, the, job, it's, it's currently it's currently rewarding me with a fucking complex. The um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, here's the thing. Uh, when I say happy holidays to you, and you say, "Well, no, it's it's Merry Christmas." Jesus was the reason for the season. I want to strike you in the face, just right in the face. See, I, I worked in retail for about four and a half, five years before I went back to college, and um, you you were legally required to say happy holidays because you didn't want to run the risk of offending people. Mm -hmm. um, so, now by nature I'll say happy holidays. One, because I'm not Christian. I'm, I'm pagan. But also because um, you, you don't know. You know, and I never understood why people would get so upset if, like, I had a lady turn around to me one time. This was, like, back in 2005 or something. And she started yelling at me in the store that I was working in, so I Honey, you can say Merry Christmas. It's okay. You know, you don't have to be, you know, PC. And she did like the finger quotes thing. And I'm like, ma'am, I have to say Happy Holidays. Not everybody celebrates Christmas. And she's like, well, who do you know that doesn't celebrate Christmas? So I'm like, I'm Wigan. <laughs> she just kind of looked at me funny and walked out the store. <laughs> Clearly, you haven't listened enough to Kirk Cameron and his word to understand truly the reason for the Holy season. Holy shit. We need to talk about that because that oh, is an do. amazing <laughs> of commercial dribble. It's no. amazing. I've, managed, no. I've only managed to see like five and a half minutes of footage from Saving Christmas. Mm. But jumping jack fuck. The, uh, that, that thing looks amazing. What the shit's going on on the screen? Right now, what is uh, this? Is this is uh, James Pond, uh, and he is a uh -huh. robotic. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, he has a it... metal attachment in his torso that lets him uh, stretch out to insane proportions. Yep. Yes, and, and what you don't hear, of course, is him screaming bloody murder every time his torso extends. That's it's, it's part of the charm of the game, really. You want to add an element of realism. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Can we just can we sit here quietly and watch his torso extend a bunch? <laughs> because I'm I'm pretty sure that's that's what the devil's boner looks like. Like <laughs> this large right. shiny this large shiny tube <laughs> with the flailing arms and face. Oh, apparently I oh. won the stage. You Good. won. You did the thing. Uh, you you won. <laughs> you, you got you zero in mystery around. though, so I mean. <laughs> I, I should probably try to get more mysteries. It's oh, like, he seems very happy about that. Congratulations, you were horrifying for a few seconds. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, there was no mystery. Whoa, whoa, uh, whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, where are we? This is... <laughs> this is this is I hell, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, this, this is, is a prelude to uh, Five Nights at Freddy's. Uh, someone's been reading oh. my Nightmare Journal. <laughs> <laughs> I have a blog about this shit. That one, that one repeating bear face looks so happy that it's decapitated. <laughs> but that other, well, the other one that's that intact looks strangely sad. Like, yeah, I'm he's next. like, I, I wish I didn't have a body. Like my happy friends. I, I will tell you, this is a game I played rather extensively as a small child and thought it was actually really fun because I rented this ah! from 5002 <laughs> video way too many times. <laughs> That explains Never everything. <laughs> yeah, for the love of God, why did you do this? I don't know. I had apparently very bad taste as a child. Why are all your Wait, favorite... did you just fuck up a train? That's amazing. Yeah. Dude. Why are all your I... favorite games from childhood horrifying? I don't know. 
but I love this for no apparent reason. I, my, my favorite childhood games were like Final Fantasy VI, Super Mario World, you know, like all sorts of stuff that normal gamer kids liked. And then you and pull then out a fucking James this. Bond. I also don't know particularly where I'm going, so... My, uh, I think my favorite it, game from childhood was totally missed Day. out on strawberries back there. Maybe Day of the Tentacle. Did I miss strawberries? Strawberries are important. I should get strawberries. It's part of a balance. Oh, How can you oh, even those... tell? We need to talk about this level design because there's absolutely no indication of where the fuck to go, if you're making progress, there's nothing going on here. Well, it's very Mylon Secret Castle in, like, game design <laughs> okay. philosophy. Okay, hold on, that hold on, hold on, are you, are you telling me, are you trying, are you trying to suggest that somebody looked at Mylon's secret castle and said, this is the direction we need to go in. This is where, this is where games are heading. Yes, I'm afraid so. I'm going to make an extended fish to grab that decapitated teddy bear's face. <laughs> oh, uh, I was super stoked to hear that um, uh, Day of the Tentacles is getting, uh, getting like a, a remake. Yeah. Yes. Awesome. Yeah. Um, and it looks like Tim Schafer and, and his, his ilk are behind it. Now, it's it's not as awesome news as, say, a Brutal Legend sequel, which I, 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 I pray for every day. <sighs> Only if they fix the controls. Oh, uh, I know they're making another uh, Grim Fandango release as well, so there's also that. That, that, that also, yes. Please and thank hopefully, you. Hopefully they'll use this money... To, okay, you're gonna need to get off the nightmare bear pile. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thought maybe I could travel through it, but apparently I can't. There's no way. Why would the you? Why pile. would this? Why would this level at all condition you to think you could walk around teddy bears? I mean, that's just ridiculous. I I don't know, man. That science or that, something. That hippo is hiding something, and I think it's a murder. That's the mystery. <laughs> Hooray. Did I hit something here? Like, did something hurt me? I... Okay. I don't know. I couldn't... I couldn't... Well, here's the exit. So I think we survived the first night at Freddy's. Nope. No. Oh, well, is... no, we survived <clears throat> night one. This is night this two. Is night two. Where... <laughs> where things really start going bad. Man, we're so topical hopping on that Five Nights at Freddy's train. <laughs> Can, I be right. honest? Can I be honest? Like, I played a little of the game. I was so fucking bored out of my mind. That game blows. It doesn't seem very fun. I have no reason it's to not, go it's not get even it. It's scary. Like I've seen people like react to it and go, ah, "That's the scariest thing ever." And it's like, "No, actually, it's really fucking boring." And it's yeah, like, it's, "Oh no, he caught me." It's it's because jump scares, quote unquote. I yeah. I did kind of like Markiplier's playthrough of it, but other than that, I, okay, I got it. I understand. Oh my god, that's a wow. that is a double decker bus. Welcome that to just England. murdered me. You wow. Have trains and buses. You're like. Steven from uh, FF6. This oh my! Great. What the fuck? <laughs> what? <laughs> what are the spikes? <laughs> what the fuck is this? <laughs> that's the most. That's the most. That's the most inappropriate spike trap I've ever seen in a game, and it was perfect. <laughs> Look, did you notice there were no other spikes? There was just no, not at all. Yeah. There was just a smattering of spikes. Like, oh, reason, just I, I like wow. I like I like his face there in the corner next to your bar. <laughs> he's really, kind of really looks like upset. He's... <laughs> he is oh. not happy with my ability to play this game. Well you're, like you're think, progressing. So. I like to think that's not your health bar, that's your will to live and you're slowly merging into the teddy bears <laughs> behind you. <laughs> <laughs> Why would I even want to come in this alcove? There's nothing all good of, for me. All of those teddy bears are actually your, your your previous lives while playing the game earlier. Uh, and all these really random things that you're picking up. <laughs> I uh, they're Christmas presents for the kids, I think. Yeah, something. we all we okay, want to right, talk a right. little bit about what right. this game is. Extended robot fish should not be around kids. I don't care what he's handing out. <laughs> Well, actually, this is uh, Santa's Toy Factory. Um, let me read you a little bit of the plot. I'm just oh going to read right from uh, Wikipedia here. Okay, so um, 
Although Acme, Acme Oil Company has been destroyed by James Pond, Pond's arch enemy Dr. Maybe, fantastic name yeah. by the way, survived and has retreated to the North Pole where he's taken over Santa's workshop. Dr. Maybe is holding Santa's work as hostage. In most versions of the game, they are penguins and some they are elves, and has turned many of Santa's helpers into his own twisted and dangerous assistants. So um, the whole gist of it is that you need to infiltrate the workshop, free all the captive penguins slash elves, retrieve the stolen choice for the children of the world, which is going to be a hell of a feat for a little tiny fish, yeah. and defeat Dr. Maybe, quote-unquote, once and for all. Um, and you're given a robotic suit, uh, Robocod, which is obviously a pun on Robocop. Um, mm-hmm. It's supposed to give him superhuman strength, even though he's a fish, and agility, as well as enabling him to stretch his midsection almost indefinitely and reach otherwise impossibly high areas. Okay, um, well, okay, well, number one. Hold on, well, is that a pipe? Is that a is that a Mario pipe with bullet bills coming out of it with M's on it? Yes. Yeah, that's how it's different. Because they gave it funny, goofy eyes. It's got a so mohawk in a through. wheelchair. It's not a power <laughs> book, girl. Uh, it's a like <laughs> Okay, that, that was a glass of wine. I believe you're right. Is that, is that a bo- is that, was that a bottle of pills back there? Sure was. Uh, I think so. <laughs> Which explains so much about this game. Just okay, all so of it. Just going off what Joan said, um, a few thoughts. Uh, number one, uh, Dr. Maybe is an awesome name. Uh, that, that should be a band name. Um, or like a, or like a, like not a hipster villain, but like... Just kind of like a a, a, you know, a youth culture villain, like Doctor Shrug, <laughs> the, um... <laughs> or like General Grievous. Yeah, just <laughs> no, no, John. No. <laughs> <laughs> Number two, um, I am willing to forgive this game a little bit of this stupidity because Robocod is a is a pretty funny pun. Uh, <laughs> that face he's making. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing, <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, I found the top. It looks like he's still and then, going. And then, somebody, and then somebody comes along with a pair of scissors. <laughs> oh. Also, how would a fish have superhuman strength? Wouldn't That's exactly fish what like... I said. Yeah. Wouldn't, I don't know. Wouldn't he have super fishy strength? Or you like think? The strength like maybe... of, a, of a, like, a guy named Todd? Well... <laughs> There is the fact that fish normally don't have arms. That's... Yeah, that's... By the way, that's how many fucking levels this place has. Oh, jeez. Uh, well, at least they put thought into it. Lot. Here's the thing, right? Here's all the platforms that this game was released on. You're gonna blow you. Listen, listen, just... Listen to this shit. It was on the Amiga, the Atari ST, the Mega Drive uh, Genesis, Amiga CD32, Commodore 64, DOS, Game Gear, GBA, PlayStation... Master System, SNES, Nintendo DS, PlayStation 2, and it's currently on the PlayStation Network. Wow. Wow. Did that many people need to play Robocod? Apparently so. They thought this was going to be like the next Mario, man. I, I think James that Bond is, was going that to be is literally all of the people. I don't know. It's no Dynamite Henny, that's for sure. <laughs> Certainly not. No, this this has no dynamite heady in it whatsoever. But yeah, we did make it to the top roof. Of the which... world. Mega Magazine placed this game at number twenty in their uh, top s- Mega Drive games of all time. Okay. <laughs> which tells you a lot about the, the Mega Drive. Drive. <laughs> it may uh, it it doesn't tell it tells me it tells me a lot about being sad inside. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Well, naturally, it's Christmas. What the fuck? Whoa! Guess what? Boss fight. <laughs> Apparently. All right. Um, I. You can just, you can just gently you... touch the sign. It'll come on. Oh fuck! Ow! This this is this is the fifth night. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's not golden, so clearly this is not can't. Oh, oh. Game. Of... What? He got you. What? <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah. I can do. <laughs> Look at his face! <laughs> Did you see his face? He's just like, I don't give it's a like, shit. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> do whatever you want, man. I don't care. I don't care anymore. It's just Santa and his toys. He, he, he apparently does two things of health every time he hits you, and you've only got four. 
Yeah, that's a super game for giving me so many chances here. How about move somewhere else where I don't get hit? Thank you. <laughs> this, I... I really don't... don't like how this giant spike teddy bear is eyeballing me. <laughs> you get a little personal. I, I can't say I appreciate it. I don't... Yeah, I don't, I don't... I don't... I like how and both they... of his pupils go into his right eye or left yeah. eye, depending on where you oh, are. Yeah. <laughs> ah! Oh my god. <laughs> and he is just super inconsistent with his hitbox. Just, oh my god. I was gonna oh say, god. like, there'll be parts where you're not touching him at all, and it'll count as a hit. I... This is programming genius at its height? Yeah. And you loved this game. I did. Why? You know what, though? I I'll be honest. When I was younger, I also liked Boogerman, so I'm in no position to judge. No, you're not. See, even I absconded from Boogerman, so... Hey, whatever, you did it! Whatever, whatever Robocod. <laughs> <laughs> that is the saddest happy dance I've ever seen. Uh, I gotta go through 47 more levels of this shit! <laughs> Are you fucking kidding? No, I actually don't know. No, 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 no. This this actually is enough for an A-side. So the question is, do we want to do a B-side of this game, or have we had enough Robocod? Uh, I came down to level design of the rest of them, because I, I literally watching the uh, the floating bears in the background clashing and everything else, like, kind of feel a little nauseous. <laughs> uh, it, it, it was super hard it's super hard to follow what's going on yeah like um playing it it's super hard to follow what's going on <laughs> yeah, I, I can believe so i'm gonna go ahead and say man fuck james bond <laughs> it's like hey what's the next game <laughs> Even he's looking forward to it. Look, we're talking about it. He looks really happy. He's like, yeah, just, just, yeah. just yeah, go to the next game. You'll like it. You'll like it a lot more. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Turn me off, please. He looks please like turn a video me off. Game. He looks like the video game equivalent of Butters. The poor sad earnest bastard. Turn me off, please. <laughs> All right, well, that's enough for James Pond 2, codenamed Robocod. Yeah. <laughs> but Robocod's Even the pun. It's a yeah. fantastic pun, but it sounds kind of dirty. <laughs> Just a little. No, no, nobody even brought up the cod piece. Ah, uh, um, there it is. That's why, that's why it sounds dirty. Uh, because of the Good night, job. everybody. Because Good of night. The, because of the job <laughs> On <reason>. that note... <laughs>